All right, I want to just talk a little bit about what this bike replaced. This has been a long journey for me of finding the ultimate, what I consider the ultimate enduro dual sport adventure bike. And quite honestly, before I had this bike, I had a 2017 KTEM 1090R. I completely blinged that out, thinking that that was the ultimate bike. And it was, it was kind of a long journey, quite honestly. I wound up selling that bike and getting the 690, and I'm pretty happy with that decision. Uh, I'm in my mid-50s, and I went on a couple of uh, rides on that 1090 where, where I had all the camping gear. It was loaded up to the T. And the bottom line is the bike performs fabulous on the street, but when you're taking it off-road, you get an off-camber or some technical stuff, I was very uncomfortable just with the, all the weight. It was tall and all that extra weight. And of course the weight is, you know, top heavy. I just did not feel comfortable and did not want to put myself in a position, whether I was alone or with other friends to then get help in the event I dropped it. And so I actually did drop it uh, in, a, in a kind of embarrassing scenario where I came home from a two day ride in the rain for several hours, came home, didn't put my kickstand down all the way and dropped the bike in my garage. And it was so heavy, I had to get, call my wife and son out to come help me pick the thing up. And that was kind of a wake up call. And then I took it out to an off-road riding park, loaded as well, and rode some semi-technical Jeep trail, off cambers, several mud holes. And I just, I just wasn't confident. And it was mainly just because of the weight. And so it made me really kind of rethink what I wanted. And I realized that being in Central Texas, I've got a trailer pretty much everywhere I'm gonna go, especially from a BDR, long distance adventure type ride. I'm not really planning on riding for my garage cross state. That's just not what I'm really interested in doing right now for me to be able to trailer out to a destination like Colorado, Sargent's Colorado, or uh, going down to the Four Corners and riding the <clears throat> Colorado BDR or Utah BDR or whatever, that's what I'll do is I'll trailer and then I'll launch from there and I'll make a loop back <clears throat> to uh, my starting point. So given that that's sort of what I'm wanting to do, I felt that that 1090, getting rid of it and replacing it with the 690 was probably what I needed to do for me and I have to say, I'm pretty happy with what I've experienced so far. Is this a unicorn? Well, it is to me, may not be to you, but uh, if you're looking for a bike that can really do it all and is really great off-road, is light, relatively speaking, obviously it's heavier, heavier than a 350 or 500, but this has performed so much better on the road and actually does a pretty decent job off-road. So anyway, that's what I've got going on. And I will, uh, the only other thing I got coming is a Tusk uh, pannier rack system, which I'll be putting on there and then be loading up some of my uh, Moscow Moto pannier side bags on it. So that'll be pretty much what I'll use for my first trip. But for just testing the bike out and and kicking the tires on this, both uh, on and off road right now. Very happy. And I think this is pretty much going to uh, meet what I'm looking for at the moment. So, you know, that 1090 was a nice bike on the street. It was just like magic, but I'm a dirt biker at heart. And that's really, you know, if I'm on the street, it's mainly to connect trails. And um, that's just, that's just where I'm at right now in my life. And that works out pretty well. So anyway, hope this gives some folks some insight as to what this bike's all about and sort of my thought process of how I work through it. I felt I've been on a journey, you know, hopping from bike to bike, but I think I've landed on one that I'm gonna be hanging on to for quite a while. So anyway, that's all for now, thanks.